Aunt Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one has got some new things, some new stuff to try, and not just new patterns, but new styles and new materials, so trifecta. Here we go. The first thing is, I ordered online. I had a couple questions recently about coupons, where you get them, how you get them. I can't answer that. Honestly, it's kind of random. But I, I basically made two orders recently, and one was from the store, which was most items, and then I ordered two items from online. And the online order came with a coupon. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but that's what happened. So 20 off 75. But it came with this little handy-dandy guide that talks about the new reactive material. Um, it's made from recycled plastic bottles, and I'm just opening this to see, make sure I hit all four things. It's recycled plastic, it's durable, it's lightweight, and it's water repellent. So it's basically, that doesn't tell you that, but it's basically like the lighten up material. It feels very, very similar. They have a different zipper on most of the items, and it's water repellent, whereas the lighten up was just water resistant. So that is a change in the right direction, in my opinion, and we'll see how that holds up. We'll see. But my store um, is in Wisconsin. I live in Arizona. It just, I was traveling and I didn't have a store near me and I, I met these lovely ladies out there and that was when I learned that you could do phone orders. So rather than ordering online all the time, I actually prefer that personal connection. So I give them most of my business, but they sent me a little note with my order. This is just so sweet. First of all, it's a Vera Bradley thank you card. I would have purchased these if I could have. I don't know if they were an option, but it's a Springtide Navy or, yeah, basically Springtide Navy. It's like a darker version of the shore thing, but it's, it's awesome. It says, thanks from the bottom of my heart. Super cute. All right, so inside, dear Michelle, we appreciate you so much and are so grateful you take the time to call and order from us. We know these beautiful and fun pieces will get much love and serve you well. Have fun with them. We look forward to seeing you in June. Fair Bradley team, Mayfair Mall. Thank you, ladies. They also sent me a gift, a surprise, a sweet surprise. It's a short um, Sea Life pen. Anyway, it's not open, but it's the ballpoint pen from Sea Life, and it has the octopus and the turtles, and yeah, super cool. So very, very thoughtful. There is just another argument for going with the loyalty option. Yeah. All right, but I did order some new things. So. These are the beach slides in Seahorse, of course. I think these are awesome. Um, as far as the look of them, I, the materials are fine. Doesn't bother me, the materials. These are not the right size, though. These are large, which should be nine or 10. But the, and I have narrow feet, but this part is too narrow. Now granted, I had thick socks trying them on, but chances are I might be wearing them with socks, so I want them to fit, but it is not even close. Because even though I could whittle my foot into it, it's not like I have a big old fat foot just because my body's all fat. But uh, they're too short. Like my toes, I mean, I'm end to end, like literally. And so these aren't going to work for me, unfortunately. But I do like them. I think they're great. But just know that they are not true to size. They are, because they do small, medium, large versus actual numbers, they're going to be on the small side. Just FYI. So that would be the first thing in like forever. I might have to send back. But in other footwear news, Cozy Life slippers. Now these, I know fit because I have oodles of them. And these are the Sweetheart Floral, I think it's called. I took off the tag already, but anyway, it's, there's only one, you can't miss them. The cute pink ones, but they're so soft and they're comfortable and warm. And they have just a little bit of elastic on the back, which helps to um, keep them on your feet a little bit better. So those are great. They also have non-slip bottoms and I got just one thing that was on sale, funny enough, um, because everything's closing out with the Moonlight Garden. Somehow though, I either missed or didn't think I wanted just a cotton bandana. So I know it's not the best view because of the plastic. I don't wanna take it out until I use it. But it's just a bandana, like a flat square, big bandana. Actually, it's kind of good size because that's one quarter of it. But it's the beautiful Moonlight Garden colors and florals and it's got like a trim pattern to it. It's got all the pieces and parts that I really like. And I got this non-traditional use, go figure. I have this blue tablecloth and I rotate, you know, when I wash them and stuff. But I thought this would be a great centerpiece on the table when I dress it up. 
Yeah, that's what I'm going to use it for. At least it's a primary function. I reserve the right to use it for other things too. But All right, so more new stuff. This is the Big List Pad in Sea Life. I thought this was a great to-do list size. And I thought when I go on a cruise, I had that little clipboard. I thought these might be a good replacement size to put in there. Yeah, I was wrong. Because look at how much you get. Um, so this is kind of pricey. And I thought, well, I'm on order anyway because I had a coupon. Um, yeah, so it says suggested retail $18.95. First off, $18 is a lot for a notepad, I think, even a pretty one. But we're added on a bunch of items this extra 95 cents. Ugh, ridiculous. I just, first of all, really? Anyway, I'm not going to sit and piss and moan about prices, but it is a lot more. So someone had made a comment on a Facebook group about, well, it's way too much. I've never spent that much on that little pad. Well, the good news is it's like three or four times as much paper as I thought I was getting. And even though I still don't want to pay 18 for it, I will use my coupon and get some more because I like it that much. These are great. I mean, just for me, yeah. I like paper. Speaking of paper, guess what? This was a paper order. So this is the journal with pen and sea life. Look at the perfect little seahorses right in the middle and you get the crabs and the octopus and then the turtles on the back. Yeah, it's just a fun pattern. Um, and I don't care that it's a light background for all of these paper goods because that's fine. I'm not gonna get it all dirty. So it's great. It does come with a pen. It fits right here in the binding and it is wrapped in plastic and it has this elastic to hold close. This is a great little throw it in your purse kind of thing. I have several of them, but not currently using them. Hey doggies. All right, mini notebook with pocket in Sea Life. Again, you have the beautiful pattern. It's a little bit bigger piece so you get more of it in one side. Um, unfortunately, if you see like the turtles, there's some turtles that are intact, but they're cut off on basically the top and the bottom, and the back is exactly the same as the front. But this is 160 college ruled pages, and it does have a pocket on the inside. And the edges are colored red, so I think the page is just lined in white. Sorry, I have the hiccups. All right, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I like the undated planners um, because I have that leather uh, organizer, whatever you call it, and I can just punch holes in these and use it in there so I can actually get use out of that leather piece. But I love these and they're so customizable. I mean, you can give it to a friend and they could be using their own calendar and then they can adjust these. These are dated to what you want. You could start it in January or May or December, whatever you want, and it's great. So there you go. I like those a lot, so I had to get the Sea Life one because that's what I'm doing. All right, another new thing, because undated planners aren't new. That's like my fifth one, I think fifth different pattern. Um, but magnetic memo board, look at this thing. Okay, this is not really so much for home use for me, although I could, I could use it for a lot of things. Um, but I got it for cruising, because I thought, you know, when you put your little thing on your door and you can people can use these little magnets, it comes with three little magnets. And I can just leave a note on your board, maybe. I might not take it cruising, I don't know. I just thought it was super fun, and it's adorable. And it just has a ribbon that it hangs by its ribbon, so. It is, you know, both sides, so if one side got all scratched up, whatever, just flip it over. It's just, it's robust, it's a magnetic board. Yeah, so there's that. And then, um, yeah, let's stick with Sea Life, because here we go. So this is the new reactive fabric, and this is the hanging organizer. So it has changed style. As far as I know, the old hanging organizers will still be around, but this is definitely the new style coming out. So we'll see, but I like both. I like them both for different reasons. So I prefer to have both going forward, just me. But this one has the same zippers we're used to, very smooth, very usable. On both of the end pockets, which we'll look at, and then the middle pocket here is a double zipper, but it's like, you see that? It's a chunky plastic zipper, which kind of makes sense because it's a recycled bag and plastic is the theme. But honestly, I don't think it's necessary. I don't mind it on a bag like this. And these are pretty smooth. They're working fine. I, I don't have any issues at all with it on this, but I don't want that chunky zipper on some of my nicer, 
more fashion conscious bags that I might be carrying around. To me, I think that's a little bit, I don't want to say cheap, but I just, I think it downgrades the, uh, the quality, not the quality, the sophistication of those bags. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, but this, I don't care because this is like me in my bathroom or whatever I'm going to use it for. So it does hang. So you have this flap similar to the other ones, but obviously a very different construct. There's a mesh pocket up here and it is nylon, unpatterned, non-lined. And then you have a plastic front and it is lined with plastic. So it's plastic in the back as well. Inside of this bag is lined completely with clear plastic. And the tag says, consciously crafted 16 recycled plastic bottles equals one yard of recycled fabric. So it tells you right there on the product, which I think is kind of cool. And then the big old chunky rubber Vera Bradley name thing sewn on. All right, it also came with an extra tag on it, which basically says the same thing that I just told you. Lighten up, lighter impact. And then it talks about the environmental 16 in one. So that's cool, but in the side pockets you have it's clear plastic lined on both sides. This end has like pencil slots. There is, looks like three that are pretty wide slots on each side. So three on the inside, three on the outside. You don't have to use those slots. You can put whatever you want in those pockets. If you were using this as like an arts and crafts bag, you know, that could be like paint brushes maybe, or, you know, other things. And then this side is plastic lined. It's just an open pocket, so whatever you want to put in there. And middle, like I said, the only thing I didn't talk about was it has a mesh pocket inside. There's no other elastics or anything. It has pretty good depth to it, so yeah. I'm really excited about giving this a try. Um, and as far as pattern placement with this pattern, um, it's one of those patterns where if there's a particular critter that you're really fancying, maybe you want to pick your pattern yourself. Um, because there is a wide variance. I'm perfectly happy with almost any pattern placement on the piece like this because you're going to see all the critters, but I am happy I got an intact critter pretty much centered on the front. That, that's cool. Um, if I was choosing, I would choose the seahorses dead center or maybe the octopus because I just think like the one that's online, the picture, I just think that one is like perfect. Uh, but I do like this because it has all the colors and and all that and on the back I got the beautiful turtles and the crabs and I've got a big old intact octopus so I'm happy I'm happy with that I'm pretty easy to please most of the time all right but speaking of pattern placement and new items this next item is got a big old long name it's like iconic RFID deluxe zip ID card case that's a, that's a mouthful but basically it's a deluxe card, uh, deluxe zip ID. So it looks at first glance like a regular zip ID. You have your zipper, you've got a clear window, and there you go. But it is not. So you open this up and this first, you have this pocket here. The outside is inaccessible. You enter it from the inside. So it's protected. Your stuff isn't just gonna fall out or anything like that. And so it has two clear sides, see that? So you can put two different cards if you wanted, you know, quick access to flash your ID or scan something. It's very convenient. Um, inside though, you also have two slip pockets in this direction as well. And they can of course hold more than one card. So it's not like you're limited to just two cards there and two cards there. And then inside, even though you don't have the clear window on this part, it is a regular zip ID. You even have that divider section in there. So you have two sections. So great little piece. I'm super excited about it because it's just so versatile. It sort of expands your options for small wallets or grab and go or, you know, put it on a lanyard and have more with you. And anyway, it's exciting um, to me. I do like the pattern placement on the front part where that, that clear window is. I have a, it wouldn't have been my preference, but I have a nice anchor centered. So I have something centered and that, it's kind of cool and it's not perfectly centered but I've got the two seahorses and the anchor in the middle that's cool and then on the back side it's a little off-centered but I have the two seahorses and then I have a bonus 
well, most of a seahorse and the anchor. So they kind of get to see at least the whole pattern, the anchor and the star. It's a taste of everything. That's pretty decent for a small piece with a pattern like that. So anyway, these are all just my opinions. I would have been happy. I'm like, you give me one that just had anything. I just wanted the piece. I didn't really care, but given, ooh, given a choice, I just dumped over my whole pile on the chair. Yeah, scared the dog. <laughs> Sorry, puppy. Okay, sorry about that. I usually am a little, little bit more gentle when I set things down. It was just off balance. Because of the balance on the slippers on the bottom, that was a good plan. <laughs> this is the same item we just saw. You can see the RFID marking on this one. But this one is in black performance twill. So same, same construct, same everything, except it has that pretty performance twill zipper. And it is patterned inside, regular, regular black performance twill. That floral pattern. All right. Next item, I got the Whimsy luggage tag. This I thought, you know, I really won't use that as a luggage tag, but I'll use it as a bag tag, like for um, my tote that I'm bopping around the ship maybe when I'm cruising. Obviously, I do more in life than cruising, but my land in Virginia is right by the lake, so we'll be out on the boat, I don't know, whatever. I just could think of a lot of things I could use this beautiful seahorse for, and it's pretty, pretty durable, so it clips off. You can clip it around things and onto things, and then it has a little hook. Just clips right on, but on. So there you go. Um, put that, you can put it on a backpack, whatever. The next item I got, again, is a reactive piece. This is the Drawstring Family Tote. I really did not need this. I have several of them, but I really like them, and I think they have so many uses, not just beaches or whatever. But look at the beautiful pattern. I'm just really excited about the different colors of the critters. You know, you got your blues and teals, but you've got all the other sea life, and then you got your reds. Um, it is almost um, like a corally red. It's more red than coral, but it is sort of an orangier red, not a true like fire engine red. But I think that's perfect for this pattern. I wouldn't want it to be red, red, honestly. It's, it's good. So here again, we have that chunky zipper, but you can see it's very smooth. Um, and, and fine. And a bag like this, again, like the hanging order, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's great and smart, actually, to have that. It's less likely to get sand stuff irritating it. On the back is a perfectly centered um, octopus, and then I've got, again, all the parts of my pattern. Unfortunately, there's a seam here, so the pair of seahorses gets cut off, but I do have a perfect seahorse, and then I've got the pair there, so. Turtles everywhere, yay. So really happy with the placement on this. Again, it's hard to miss on a big bag. And if you're not familiar with the drawstring family tote, it's just a, a tote bag. It's robust, it's totally wipeable on the inside. And it also has one pocket here. It's like a hidden pocket on the top, which perfectly easily fits your phone. You just drop it in there completely. It doesn't have a magnetic closure or anything on it, but you kind of really don't need it. As far as the mesh, you can put all that stuff you might carry inside the bag, and then it has the double drawstring, seal the mesh, tie it up, and then turn the bag upside down. And without dumping all your stuff out, you dump the sand. So if you're not familiar with that, that's what I like about these. It might be sand, it might be dirt, it might be whatever, but it's kind of nifty. The other advantage to this is, like if you're carrying a lot of stuff and you're overstuffing your bag, um, that allows you to go over the top of the bag and still be able to secure your things, which, again, I think is very practical, and I like it a lot. That's why I now have like, I don't know, four or five, four of them, five, I don't know, too many, but I love every one of them. All right, and last but not least, this new piece is near and dear to my heart. I like to think that I have some role in it. It doesn't matter, it's not an ego thing or bragging thing, but through the insiders, I sent a picture. I was out at Home Goods and I saw this backpack towel thing, and I said, wouldn't it be cool if we had this in Vera Bradley? And now, that was in May, and here it is, February, and we have a backpack towel thing. And it's even cuter and it's bigger than the one I had sent and saw. 
But yay, so I feel like Vera really, really does listen, not just because of this story, but they really do listen. So if you have feedback about your items, whether you bought them, gift received them, whatever, then put the feedback on, on the website or send them a note or make a phone call um, or do the instant chat thing. They are very receptive. Um, and if you get someone that's not, then try again, you know, but they do really care what we think, so. Don't be shy about giving the feedback. All right, now this piece is terry cloth. So it's like a beach towel material. It's actually called a beach blanket, but I think just because it's big. Um, but it has nylon straps. These are not adjustable or removable, which is fine, um, but they have plenty of space. I mean, I'm a big girl and these fit easily on me, you know, with plenty of space. It's very comfortable and very, very usable. Easy on, easy off. So there, I love the pattern. This is Mint Sea Life, which is a lot more colorful than I thought. I thought at first it was gonna be just minty, but it's it's very diverse. Not really any critters except the sand dollars, but I love it, sand dollars and starfish, it's cool. And then on top, it has just one little tab of Velcro on each side, and then there's your blanket in the middle. So, Pretty cool. It looks like it is attached. So the bag itself is kind of like the fleece travel blanket where it folds into a pillow. This towel slash blanket folds back into itself. So I'm not gonna unwrap it right now because I don't wanna I don't wanna learn right now how to fold it back up. But I'll get back to you on that if it's a problem. So there we go. That's the beach blanket backpack. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.